and gentlemen, welcome to a 1v1 classic game. This match was played nine years ago. I don't know the exact date on this one, but this was played nine years ago. Uh, it is 2018 currently. I guess people could be seeing this in 2020, 2021, because it'll be on YouTube at some point. This game was played on Scandinavia between two players, uh, one of which is relatively well known, as I just told my live stream here. Uh, I cannot pronounce his name. But it is... Actually, you know what? I could do it this way. There. That's how you say it right there. D Dizimziak. I'm going to call him Blue here because he's not even using his main accounts. So he is I'm Dire Maker. And then you are Rook is his other opponent. Or his opponent. And I think that was his main Nick. I don't know who this guy is. Scandinavia is a really cool map. Uh, but it could be sloppy. It could be sloppy. You have water on either side where you can dock and fish. You have three boars instead of the standard two boars, and you just do not have berries. Uh, wow, unfortunate start for yellow. He doesn't have any sheep. That stinks. <laughs> that stinks. I'm sure he'll figure it out, though. Um, a big reason you don't see Scandinavia too consistently amongst pro players today is because the map generation isn't consistent. Uh, wood lions can sometimes be more favoring one person. Uh, and also they act as walls too often and pro players don't like that. These two giant wood lions for yellow, he could just wall between and then if he protects his gold on the hill, it'd be a pretty solid map with safe stones and safe golds. Whereas blue has a lot more openness on the front. So it's just a, a brief conversation on why we don't see that too much. Um, but it does make it interesting because you have to be aggressive on the water and on land, and I always like that dynamic where the two are combined. Something we need to see more often, I think, this map. So they're playing as the Vikings. There will be no fire ships in this game, I can tell you that much. Back then they didn't have feudal fires like they do today. So we'll likely see feudal galleys if they do go for any water control. But you have to be careful not to invest too heavily into water control, because if you do that, then you will lack resources for the land. Now, you are rook is not QL rook. At least it should it would have specified, I imagine. I don't think you are QL rook is also known as RCL monster. That's his main nick. So um, I know QL rook. I've had quite a few people asking about recently because there's a few YouTube videos where he plays Viper and Doubt. He's inactive now, um, and I, I don't believe it was him. But good good memory. If you guys haven't seen the QL Rook vs. the Viper or QL Rook vs. Doubt videos, you should check it out. He's very good in Hun Wars. Can't you just give water up? It doesn't seem like water control matters on this map. Well, again, you don't want to invest too heavily into it, so I don't know if we'll see upgraded navies early on, but... Water is extremely important. Deep fish gives you so much food. And the beauty of fish is unlike farms, you don't need to invest in another fishing ship for another patch of fish. So let's say blue decides not to go for water. Yellow could build a dock here. And he could have 225 food times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I mean, there's maybe 8, 9, and there's even more down here if he continues. So water on both sides, he will dock up here. And there's lots of food to be gained. So essentially, you will see this at times. Very good question. Uh, wow, Blue's having an issue. He hasn't even brought in a boar yet. Oh, he's he's in trouble here. His build order is just completely screwed up, if you compare it to yellow. Um, you will run into situations on maps like this where one player does not go for the water, so his early attack will be stronger. Because uh, he doesn't invest the wood into docks and fishing ships. But if they don't make that attack pay off, then it's trouble. So you, you almost have a five-minute window where you need to do a lot of damage. Otherwise, your opponent's eco advantage will, will pay off for them. So I won't lie to you guys again. I kind of knew that this was going to be the start for blue. I did look at the beginning stages of this. It is a recorded game. I needed to know what I was getting myself into. I knew that he would have a tough start. And... He, I mean, he doesn't have food at the moment to create villagers, which is so important. He's taking villagers off of wood to kill the boar. Everything has just gone wrong for him. So, we did see a douche in the last game we casted. 
We won't see that this time. Hey, he's... He needs to buy himself some time now. He knows he'd be behind an eco. I mean, just compare it. He doesn't have a dock up. So he doesn't have the three fishing ships yellow does, and he's down three villagers. So normally, nowadays, you'd see players call the GG here. This guy instead is doing what he can do, and he's running forward with villagers, and he's walling up the main gold of blue of yellow, sorry. And, I mean, this would... This would piss me off. Nowadays, like if this happened to me, I'd be really angry, especially this. Oh my god! So he blocks the boar villager, then kills the boar villager. So yellow's now down a vill, and he is going to lame this boar, I imagine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's going to just lame the boar, and this is a, a classic way to lame boars you wall in your villagers, and then the boars can't attack it, and you shoot it. So that's wasted meat unless yellow wants to travel a long distance. Fermented herring. This is totally not the right thing to do. 110% would not recommend. Do not do this. But there's a reason that I'm casting this because it's so different. <laughs> if I wanted some standard stuff, I'd load up some live games right now, right? So that's it. The beauty of classic games is that the build orders weren't very fine-tuned back then. Again, this is nine years ago. Uh, there was a lot more lag back then, which means there's more mistakes. And um, also, there's just a lot of games we haven't seen before. A lot of situations we haven't encountered before. So, I don't know where these villagers were going. But they need to leave. Yellow is advancing to Feudal Age. What will he do in the next stage? I can imagine I'd be panicking if I were him. Now... He hasn't seen the walls yet. Ah, okay. Yeah. So he's thinking, let's build a mining camp. But, oh, actually, he's going to build a barracks fort. But he hasn't seen the walls. So he does not know that he can't access his gold or his stone. Blue, meanwhile, he's working on bringing in his boars. He has docked, and he's fishing, though. Oh, this is so unfortunate for him. He's not on the deep fish. And it's quite unfair that yellow has more access to deep fish. But anyway... Blue still needs to buy himself some more time. He will know this. One thing that I need to point out is there's lots of deer in between the players. So maybe Blue could take control of that. He'll have to fight with Vils now. He can't fight with any military in Dark Age. He's laming this. So he, he's killed four deer. This is a mega lame game. Lame the boar, lame to Vil. Lamed the resources. Okay, Rook is going for a classic strategy. Uh, watching a lot of these classic games, I've seen quite a lot of trash wars. So maybe he will go with some spears and skirms and not go to gold. Because he can't anyhow. And then build a tower. Maybe steal the stone and gold from blue. That's a possibility. Hmm. Blacker. Fermented Herring says, love the classic games, also the old meta, only played and watched AOE for 18 months, so good to see the good old days. Yeah, I mean, it's a timeless game. This game is is just perfect. We can get enjoyment out of watching non-pro players who played 10 years ago, and then we can load up and we can still play the game today. There's no other game like it. There's no other game that has been around this long with such an active community as far as I know. It is wonderful. And the community is only growing as well, right? So yellow killed blue scout. Yellow also killed blue's villager. Blue has two more vills. Uh, he's down three fishing ships and he's had a lot more idle time. He's soon going to have to leave his lumber. But he's he, he can't click up the feudal. He doesn't have the food. So he's going to go for the deer. <laughs> um, and, oh, he's double milling it, in fact. So he's milling the deer here and he's milling the deer here. Again today... People people would have resigned by now. I would have resigned by now. I would think I have no chance. I don't have fish. I don't have army. I'm in the dark age. I'm housed at 30 population. I should just resign and save my time. In fact, Blue... Maybe Blue played a long stretch of games. And he's really tilted. And he's really angry, so he continues to play. That's the only way I'd ever continue to play, is if I was on a big losing streak, I was tilted, and then I just played out of 
pure frustration. <laughs> Uh, that's that's my guess now guys he has to get wood somewhere so he knows more towers will come up because yellow's here so he will go to the north for wood just look at the mini map for a second it is so confusing to me blue still has not clicked up to the next stage so yellow meanwhile should have a pretty big eco advantage he has feudal age economy upgrades if he loses this game, it's a throw, right? Surely if he loses this game, it's a throw. Now, he doesn't have access to gold. He would have to use his villagers, which would take some time to batter down the palisade walls. But he has no access to gold. So, he could sell stone or he'd have to take blue's golds. And funny enough, blue's golds are not really accessible right now. They're on the back, so he would need to, to run forward for that. Ah, okay, he's going to take this gold. So there's one, two, three, and he's going to take this gold. Now, he does not know that blue is there. <laughs> if he did, he could only harass it with trash. Now, the blue player is advancing to Feudal Age. He's almost there. He's halfway. He has 400 food, 170 wood, no gold for him either, so I don't see him clicking up to Castle Age immediately after. He has lots of weak vills here. It's incredibly awkward because if he creates new vills in the next stage out of this TC, he can't send them to a resource close by. And oh, yellow's going to wall up the TC. This is brilliant. You know, if your opponent doesn't have villagers around the TC, they can't garrison the town center. So they can't shoot you if you try and wall it up. <laughs> now, blue realizes this. He's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. He hops in the town center, but it's still only one arrow. Nice thinking from yellow. I guess was, this would force blue to delete the TC and rebuild it. He doesn't have the wood to rebuild it right now. So uh, there's a few more tiles available. Blue is creating more vills quickly so he can shoot these vills with more arrows. But nope, this is completely walled up now. Yellow loses a vill. He'll lose two vills. I think that's worth it though. And, oh, he can see the chat. Yellow says 11 XD, and blue just laughs. <laughs> oh, man. The stone walls have 1,800 HP, so these vills are useless. It's going to take some time to get them out of there. Um, however, he could click up to Castle Age with this TC. I mean, the TC would likely be idle anyhow. So why not? Why not use it to advance to Castle Age? Yellow, again, he has a much stronger economy. He has more fishing ships, and he has lots of farms. Blue does not have that. He will advance to Castle Age soon as well. So it's close with the Castle Age clicks, at least. Good question, Shocker. I don't think that you could, you could TC hop this like you could tower hop. Maybe blue will do it, but yeah, I don't, I don't see that happening. <laughs> He's determined that having three villagers in the town center firing and one villager attacking the wall is the fastest way to take that wall down. This is crazy. Just look at this. One, two, three, four mines walled up. Rook is now... Well, actually, he's a bit slow with his buildings. He's about to click castle, but he's had the resources for a while to do so. Obviously, these are not the the highest of um like the the proest of pros. That's that's not a word I should say or a phrase I should say, but showing some flaws here, both of them. But it's still pretty solid level. Yeah, he clicks the castle, so they're level on bills at the moment. Uh, is it knights or is it crossbows, dire man? He will go with crossbows in the next stage. Now, where is he getting gold? He's getting gold here. Okay. He's fortunate he had the gold here. This is actually yellow's one of yellow's golds. So, three archery ranges for him. He knows he needs to be aggressive. Again, his TC is walled up. He's not even halfway finished with this piece of wall. So, he's kind of stuck there. But he can rebuild the town center in this area. 
<laughs> Ipava says, I've been watching T90 on YouTube for months. When I finally join the stream, this is the game I get. Dude, this is going to be quality. This is going to be quality. Now, logic tells you, again, there's no way that Yellow should lose this game. But he has yet to take down these walls, which would take villager time. So I guess he's waiting for Castle Age to do that. Um, and I was about to say he has yet to raid, blue, raid Blue's fish, but he's doing that now. So he is now docked on both sides. Still think yellow has a pretty big advantage, but what blue has is map control in a sense. He's walled up these res. He knows that his opponent will need them. So as long as he focuses on his golds, which, okay, he hasn't scouted that one, but he knows about this one. And blue's golds, which he obviously sees because two are walled up and one he's on. Um, yellow might not be able to, to gain access to resources, and yellow could have some hard times. So yellow's going knights. Yeah, he's adding stables. Knights is not a bad idea. It's a mobile choice, but he's just hit castle age. He's just now creating a knight. So again, slow to the buildings, and he's losing villagers. The crossbows don't have bod canero, but it doesn't matter. I I don't see the stable going up unless he wants to sacrifice villagers to get this up. One knight with chain barding armor, uh, it might just be enough here. But sloppy, sloppy stuff. Yellow was put under pressure in the beginning of the game by walls, villagers, lames, and now he's struggling. This is the only gold he had. Blue found it, and blue will kill all these villagers. Yellow now cleans this up, and he can maybe get his own gold back. Oh, he found this gold. Wow, okay. So he'll take this gold immediately. Good recognition there. Can he keep creating knights after all the build losses, though? Let's check on this prison break. Uh, yeah, I mean, the prison break is still taking some time. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't just delete the TC. They'll get out at some point. So, uh, guys... Uh, asking how you can watch these old replays. AOC, AOCzone.net, there's a classic game section. Uh, there's a few websites that have them. AOC Box, if you Google that, there's some, some games there. And then you just load the recorded games into your save game folder and you can watch it. You just have to drag the file into your save game folder. That's how I cast these. No, no special features or mods you need. So there's AOE zone, Silver Stars, and then there's AOC zone. Uh, AOE zone is the new AOC zone. I don't think AOE zone has those old games transferred over, so I still go to AOC zone, which is the older website that has the recorded games. Uh, I could be wrong. AOE zone could have all those files as well, though. The other one is, uh, I think it's AOCbox.de. I'd prefer to continue to cast if that's okay. I'm going to continue to cast. And then I'll, I could give you guys the websites afterwards. So, I, I want to pause for a moment. So, I am Dire Maker. What does he see? We're, I'm talking about golds here. He knows his gold is here, so he knows that Yellow could be taking this. He's not. He doesn't know about this one, which is unfortunate for him, but Yellow only has one villager there. Um, this gold, he's already raided. Blue's gold here is walled up. Blue's gold here is walled up. This is about to be a pretty big fight. And then, I keep saying blue's gold, yellow's gold, sorry, are walled up. And then blue is on one of yellows, which is on the other side of that wood line. Um, he does not see this gold. So this gold is keeping Rook in the game at the moment. Without gold, Rook would have to sell wood and sell food. So he'll have some problems potentially okay. if Dyer can see this. I don't know how he'll see it though. Maybe the houses, maybe... He's paying attention and can see that a gold miner just walked there. Hmm. I don't know. But I do know there's plus two knights. Plus two defense. Vikings, they do not get bloodlines. That's a huge upgrade. But I still think this engagement will be good. If Blue can wedge himself in here. Oh, wow. That one knight. You see how it got into the middle of the group. That'll make all the difference there. Blue losing his army momentum now. 20 military for yellow. Yellow is controlling the water on this side. Uh, on this side, he's been unrivaled there. So he has five less villagers, Rook. 
However, he has seven more fishing ships. But Yellow, looking to add a Siege Workshop. Mackinel would, would do excellent here. Siege Workshop was denied. He lost two villagers building that. Now, Blue has a hill advantage. And these knights, a few of them are weak. Blue obviously doesn't want to take that fight. Adding more crossbows needs to run to the TC for now. Army numbers and momentum are going to be huge here. Because players are just scattered all around this map. You cannot lose control. Yeah, Blue got a knight out of it, but of course he lost a few crossbows. Um, no. Now I wonder if he was sending a vill here to scout or to dock. Because if that was just a scout, that... That's top level stuff. That was just a scout. Oh my god. So how many villas are here for yellow? Like 15 gold villagers. His only gold villagers except for this chick here. If blue can get his crossbows over there, that would be excellent. Oh, he's sending his crossbows this way. Uh, that's, that's risky. Maganel is on the way for yellow. Yellow's just counting on the fact that Blue would never see this, but Blue noticed. Must have been the house. Here come the crossbows. Yellow's chasing. The crossbows might be able to take this engagement, though. I, I think Yellow... He needs to see a quick wall this. I don't know if, if they had the... The speed to quick wall back then with their internets. I don't know. It seems a little bit laggy, but... If the crossbows get here, this is... Blue could take the game with this right here. Yellow has 1,600 gold, I will say that. But look how many villagers are exposed. Three villagers down already. Uh, we will see four. We'll likely see five. And the Maganels and Knights are still trailing behind. Uh, this does give Blue an opportunity to add more crossbows, which he is doing. He has more military to send in this direction. I think Yellow will clean this up. It was just a mistake to run away for a moment there. I think he needed to force the fight. He'll send his villagers back to gold. He'll lose a few more in the process. But he will kill the crossbows. It is now 43 villagers for the guy who is up the feud late much later than his opponent. And 28 for yellow. And blue loses three villagers that were on the lumber here. But they get credit for the scouting. So nice repair from... What? No way. How did, how did she kill that? How did she kill that? I guess it was the crossbow. I thought for sure the repair would be enough there. That was clutch. That was clutch. T90 babe knows what she's doing, right? But yeah, she dies anyway. As does the crossbow. Blue has a town center to the north. His town center here. He still has villagers here. Oh, prison break! Let's go! How many villas does he have? <laughs> He has eight villagers in here, so I guess the vill count has been deceiving because of the amount of idols. But he can leave now, and he can he can go find new lands, go find jobs, guys. They were in there half the game. I guess he needs lumber, so he'll go there to start. But that's good for him. The lack of mobility, though, is a struggle for him at the moment. And these wood lines, as I said, make it very awkward. You can't run away with the crossbows if you need to. Whereas the knights, you can. Now this weak crossbow shows up to the gold just to be annoying. This is a pretty high level of play. I wasn't sure uh, of the level that DZ was on back then. I know that a few years ago he was pretty strong. But 10 years ago, not so sure. Seems like it was about the same though. He gets into this choke point with the crossbows. Perfect position. No Maganel in sight for yellow. So he's getting maximum value. It's so annoying when this happens. It, it's so annoying when this happens. Yellow should be able to win that. But just because of Blue's position, he can't get in there. Nice kills for Blue. Uh, again, he's built a TC here and yellow's underneath it. So scrappy. Uh, Blue's been out here. Yellow must have just noticed this. He'll need to send a knight, and there is the knight. Yellow has a lot of knights, though, and Blue's numbers nowhere to be found in the center. He's just now getting double bid axe, which is his feudal age wood upgrade. Oh, God! 
Yeah, he'll lose this for sure. Now that means he'll need to garrison this town center. He probably needs a monastery to get some conversions, but if you don't have more numbers than your opponent and you're making crossbows and they're making knights, that's trouble. The ranged units need to outmass, and that is not the case right now for blue. He does have more eco now. That's the surprising thing. He has way more villagers working. Uh, of course, he still doesn't have the fishing ships, but maybe his extra economy will pay off for him. Lack of bloodlines for yellow will certainly hurt him, but these knights are dishing out some pain. Villagers going down left and right and center. The quick wall. Okay, there was a quick wall attempt. Not fast enough. And I guess I jinxed it. I said that blue had an eco lead. I'm not so sure anymore. He was at what? 53 did I say? A moment ago. Now he's at 39. He has 17 idols. So yellow back in the lead in my opinion. Due to the fact that blue has more idle time. And has taken so many losses there. Oh, is he going to micro that Maganel down, Blue? He he will. Nice micro. So annoying, these crossbows. So annoying, but a new Maganel for yellow. And I know that Blue's played this really well, but I don't see him microing this one. And yeah, he won't. So Blue Town Center's his main gold. He still does not know yellow is there, but again, that's just one fill. Where are... Where are the pressure points? Where should you be hitting? Well, we know about this. In fact, it seems like blue showed up here once again, but that's been cleaned up. We know about that. Yellow really needs to take his golds back. This would be the time, and there we go. Maganel killing the Palisade walls, and he can take his golds. Because without those golds, yellow is pretty much out of options now. Safe options, anyway. 38 fills versus 27, but... Yellow has the fishing ships, which again is a huge, huge deal. If you think of it in terms of investment, yellow only needed to pay the wood to create the fishing ship, and they've been bringing in food all game for them. Whereas farms, you they expire, and you need to add them once again. I thought you guys would forget about the blowy boys, but you didn't. <laughs> I thought you guys would forget about the blowy boys. It wouldn't be an awful idea, as blue might go into pikemen, uh, to add crossbow if you're yellow. It'd be quite a good move, I think, to counter these pikes. But then again, you can just avoid them, right? You have the speed if, if you're knights, so... That's what he's doing, he's killing more vills. This Maganel, though, has ventured out too far. Blue's only using spears and... And villagers to attack this, so the Maganel might make it safely back. Yeah, Yellow's getting his gold. He will soon get his stone, which means he could build a castle. If anyone builds a castle right here, this will be an excellent position. Okay, the Maganel goes down. That's the second Maganel that was killed by villagers this game. But now Yellow shows up to the TC, and that's because the spears are out of position. And he's killed more villagers. Now, I think Blue's keeping his vil count up because he has more TCs. Takes losses once again, but he has a TC here, uh, TC here, TC here, TC here. So he's on four TCs, and assuming he's producing out of all of them, which he kind of is, then uh, he can reboom back from this. Yellow. Sorry, some of my spec features don't work since it's an older recorded game. Yellow is still on one town center, and that might be because he didn't have the stone to rebuild TCs. I'm not too sure. Certainly the amount of military he has is because he's putting all of his extra resources into military and not into villagers. So, Boo is... Uh, blue, the blue player, when he stopped playing last year, he was 2k2 or 2k3. So top 100 in the world, top 100, like top 200. Um, very solid team game player. When I watched him play, again, he's not active anymore, but when I watched him play, he mainly played team games and he would play, like, if you were to ask the Tyrants, they know who he is and Max, all those guys. I think he, he teamed with Max pretty frequently. Hey, Sona, what's up, man? So Blue is repairing his town center now. He's kind of come back from the dead more than once this game, if you think about it. <laughs> and Yellow just has that huge military and fish boom lead. 
So a good decision for blue would be to dock the right hand side and start killing the fish. Um, Redock the left hand side to kill the fish as well. The fish are, and this is an unintentional pun, I can't avoid it, less efficient now because they are traveling longer distances, but it's still bringing in lots of food for yellow. Uh, that Maganel has just been thrown away. Scorpions for the pikemen, good addition. I like that from Rook. And I think the trade in the end is good. He just doesn't have anything else to... to uh, mix in with those, and that's the problem. Crossbows, again, would be an excellent choice for me. His knights are coming back. It went down here for a moment, turned around, going back, and he's gonna take this fight. See, he could have taken the fight if he had four scorpions. Now he only has one. So this trade might not be ideal. Pike's obviously there to counter knights. So I, I like that if I'm blue. 63 population versus 66 now. Blue has 16 more villagers. Um, his fishing ships... Oh, I'm sorry. I looked at military. Yeah, still zero fishing ships. He has yet to dock on the outer edge. I believe he's thinking about it, though, because he sent villagers out there. Yellow needs to use his mobility. That is not the type of fight you want to take. In fact, he wasn't forced to take that fight. He wasn't losing anything if he lost the hill. At least for the moment. So I think he should have pulled blue back. With a forward attack, maybe if he attacked this TC or attacked this gold, then blue would have sent his pikemen back and he wouldn't have had to worry about that anyhow. The knights he does have here are very weak, but guys, his resources are looking strong. 1,000 food, 560 gold. Will he click up to the Imperial Age? He is on stone at the moment. So he could build a castle, go for traps and berserks, maybe an imp. Whereas blue... Yeah, you can see the economy difference. He has 64 food as we speak. What's he creating? He's just creating vills right now. Just villagers. So he'll get more and more villagers. But it takes a while for extra vills to pay off. Especially when you're constantly idle, you know? Now, I think he could use that excess wood, that excess gold. For, for navy or for crossbows? I just heard a dock, but he's adding fishing ships, okay. Yellow hasn't really transitioned away from knights. And I still think he's able to find moments where this works for him. Idled that whole town center. Killed a few villagers, now running away. And yeah, this is what you need before. You see the pikemen chasing now? And blue's not in a position to push because of yellow's... Counterattacks and yellow's raids. A battering ram for blue, so I guess he will try and, and go for some type of push eventually, but his economy's falling apart. Norsu, your ideal vil pop is like 120 late game. If you want to be able to research every technology that your Civ has, 120 is a is a good number. If you're a newer player, I'd say practice. Assuming you have the time to boom practice, getting to 120, 130 villagers. Now, in this game, it's very different, though. It's always situational in Age of Empires 2. Because this is so open, you might not want to overboom. You might not want to put so many resources into villagers, and you might need to add military. Blue, for example, he's kind of lost control of this game. His opponent has their resources back. He's been chasing yellow. And because he's creating villagers, he doesn't have the food to click up to the next stage. So uh, it's hard to judge those things. If you're a newer player, these guys are at a pretty high level. And there's a reason that blue is doing things and yellow is doing things. But oh, for yellow, his strategy choice is hit the Imperial Age before my opponent and push with less economy but more options. And those options are going to be... Something that comes out of a castle, I imagine. Because he hasn't created archer ranges, right? No, he has not. So, just the knights and the siege? And what is this from blue? Oh, he's going to TC drop him. Uh, I don't think he... I guess he knew that yellow was there, too. Because he had the line of sight from the palisade walls. So, he's building a TC right in between the golds and the stones. 
And if he gets it up, it's brilliant because it pushes Yellow off the resources he so badly needs for this. Yellow's probably not expecting this. And again, he he puts so much into the Imperial Age upgrade. He doesn't have as much economy. He doesn't have as much resources because of that. And he's counting on a unit that is going to be built out of the castle. So, okay, I think now he's realized because these scorpions are moving. But it's too late. <laughs> Blue's town center will go up. And this is going to be a huge annoyance for Yellow. Yeah, he's trying to tower this. It's too late. He just didn't see it. So if Blue garrisons, this TC would be an excellent weapon. It can kill villagers that Yellow needs more of. And Yellow needs to run. And that I did not expect in this game. So we've had uh, the lames, the walls, the... The TC walls, <laughs> the TC prisons, and now we have a forward TC, and the pikemen are going to kill Vils if Yellow's not careful. Yellow should have gone into crossbow. I can tell you that much for sure. This is a classic game because it's messy and because it's different, but Yellow should have gone into crossbow. He had the resources for it, and with crossbow he could have prevented a lot of this. But since he didn't, he has to live with that... Uh, I guess the lack of decision there. And he's gone for a treb first thing, and he's going for Blue's TC, one of many TCs that Blue has. And Blue is clicking up to Imp with the starting TC, which is walled up by Yellow, but there's a small little hole for him to get out of. This is hilarious. But, you know, Yellow repairs his treb. He kills the pikeman. Blue's pikeman... They did a good job there, but they can't go close to the town centers. Hold on a second. Sec phone. Yellow says, I stopped when I walled your TC. Yeah, I'm sure. And blue says, I stopped after I had idle TC for about eight minutes. Ready. So I don't know if that's trash talk or what. Maybe we didn't catch all that conversation, but uh, they unpaused at this point. We just happened to catch the chat. Oh, Blue, he misclicked. What is going on here? He's attacking the lumber camp instead of the treb. He could have maybe picked off that treb. But he, anyway, he loses the TC. He has to migrate. Now, Yellow gets this gold. So he does have gold yet again. And with the trebs, he can take down the production buildings of Blue. However, Blue now, I think his extra villagers are going to pay off for him. He's teching into Light Cav and Elite Skirm. And I think this is where he can get some mobility mixed in. With the light calves, start hitting wood lines, start hitting exposed areas like the golds on the flanks. Azrael Gaming, I, I wasn't going to read off sub messages and like donation messages because I wanted to, to have this on silent, but this is a nice message, so I'll read it. He says, hey man, I really appreciate the work you put into casting and the knowledge you have in AoE. It made me re-download it and play it again after all these years. That's what I like to hear, man. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the bits. That's what I like to hear. Hmm. So, again, blue will hit Imperial Age. 116 population versus 101. Quite a few scorpions for yellow. I don't think he's committing to the Zerks. I think he's only creating a few. Does Blue know about that gold? He can see that. Just barely. And he's building a stable here. So if you remember that one uh, that one gold that was on the left and how Blue spotted it with that one single villager and then killed everything that he could find. Well, now he's showing up here with a galley and he's creating light cap there. So excellent map awareness from him. Oh, wow. He's built a castle forward. So Blue has built a castle forward. Maybe Yellow needs to pack up his treb and start trebbing this before Blue trebs down all the town centers. Yellow has 28 idle villagers. He has light cav killing villagers. And he, he really doesn't have an economy anymore. He's, he has a bunch of nomads. These villagers will have to run. These villagers just arrived here. And then all of these villagers will have to run too. And the idle economy is not good enough for his Blue who is booming pretty comfortably back here. Huh. Elite Skirmisher Pikeman, not a bad move. Heavy Scorpion. Heavy Scorpion for yellow. 
Uh, would not recommend. That's that's a big investment. Heavy scorpions are great when you have larger economies. Heavy scorpions are great when you mix it in with something else. He must like his scorpions. Now, saying that, heavy scorpions will fare pretty well versus skirmishers and pikemen. With Blue's extra eco, though, he could just mass enough light cav to kill that, or with Maganel Shadow 2 flatten all these, because they stack together. DZ is so smart. So smart. He saw this gold immediately when Yellow got here. He'll now kill these villagers. I don't think Yellow can keep up with the mobility. And Blue is hitting here. Blue is hitting here. Blue is still creating units in the center. Definitely feels like he's a much faster player. More upgrades on the way with the light calf, which will help. The armor will help underneath the town centers. And pretty soon, yellow will be out of another TC and out of the castle if he's not careful. The only real issue for blue at the moment is this. He kills this, and then he's winning in the center, the left, and the right. It's just the center he's not really winning at the moment. So yellow has control of this gold. Um, I mean, again, that's probably not enough for him here. He needs to get control of the other areas. Maybe a big push can change it up for him. He sent his trebs forward. He's sending his scorpions forward. And Blue's just avoiding it. Crazy game from him. He's now at 157 population versus the 104 from Yellow. Yellow is about to dip below 100 population. He just hasn't reacted. These villagers are dying. This castle, well, it might stay up now because this treb will die. But everywhere you look, there's a blue raid. The only saving grace for Yellow is this army. And I just don't think it's enough. And look at the resources for Blue. This is an excellent display of how to buy yourself some time. He did that in every age, pretty much. Maganel, yeah, that's a good decision. Onager would do it. Um, oh, okay, so he has the Maganel. I don't think he'll research Onager, though. He needs to keep the food going for the light calf. Yeah, villagers dying here, villagers dying here. I don't think Yellow has a way back. I do not think Yellow has a way back. And because I know this is a classic game, Blue probably won. Because that was a crazy start. I hope it ends with all these scorpions getting flattened. Just a crazy game from him, man. If I'm yellow, I never play blue again. After getting my villager lames, my resources lames. I would never want to play a guy like that. But, you know, blue did what he needed to win this. Yellow is now down to 86 population. And it's 168 for blue. So, I think it's just a matter of time now. Yellow should have added crossbows and castle age, or at the very least gone Arbless in the Imperial Age. Heavy scorpions are good, but it's so expensive to get to them. Once you lose them, you don't have the resources to do anything else. And both players will lose castles here. This is funny. A blue blue's sneak TC has been trebbed down, and now his sneak castle has been treb will be trebbed down. But Yellow's just losing too much. He doesn't have access to wood here. He doesn't have gold. 40 villagers. He has his 9 fishing ships. I guess that's good. But I think we're getting closer to the end of a very crazy game. I want to see these flattened. Okay, now he's going Onager. I want to see these get flattened. So, uh, guys, do you think you would be tilted if you're Yellow? guy walls up all your stones and all your golds and comes forward and lames lames deer and boars would you be tilt would you be tilted i would be i'd be pretty tilted <laughs> i'd be pretty frustrated <laughs> it's not a guy i want to play again i mean we watched it so we can understand why blue might have done that because that was his only chance but doesn't mean blue uh yellow can't be annoyed by it oh god Yellow's going the wrong way with his trebs. He might have clicked here or something and they're going around the other way. That's probably what happens. Yellow has 17 bills. He's been losing more all around the map. 
And I think he knows it's over now. I think he knows it's over. He has to know it's over. It's 48 population. He's way behind in score. This is his military. And Onager is the perfect counter to this. Even the Arbalest can finish this off. And Yellow. Does he have a TC? He is this town center. And that's about it. Has resources, but not enough. As a lonely treb here. This is his lumber eco. And I think the light cap will polish off these scorpions. And we'll see the GG. <laughs> yeah, that or he just got defeated afterwards, right? But the GG's got to be coming up. But you know how in this moment, you guys are probably thinking, why doesn't yellow call the GG? That's the exact thing that any sane person would have been thinking with blue start. Nowadays, if... It was MBL versus Viper, and Viper had the start there that uh, Blue did. He probably would have said, this is GG, and just called it. For sure. People don't play out these scenarios nowadays. Uh, Blue somehow found a way, and it's a very impressive victory for him. And yep, Yellow resigns. Yeah, it's certainly not as tilting as some of the other strats. The, the, the big annoyance for me is when I encounter someone uh, walling up resources. Walling up resources is is the most annoying way to lay me. That and if you steal a boar and some sheep as well. But like when you wall up resources, that really gets underneath my skin. I'm not sure how yellow feels about it. No shocker, don't wall up my resources. <laughs> but that was a great game. There's the KD for you. Blue getting more kills. In the end, Blue had a lot more economy, didn't he? But in the beginning, he didn't. Um, so as I said, he, he just needed to distract and buy himself some time. And I think the big reason he won that game was because he was so fast to recognize where his opponent was getting gold. Every single time his opponent found gold, within five minutes he found it and he raided it. The first one was on the left. The last one was the killing blow and that was on the right, right next to a wood line as well. Now, if you look back at the game for a moment, it was kind of unfortunate for yellow. I didn't touch on this that he had this ice patch here that he couldn't build on. Blue, he had back resources, for example. So that made it tough in the late game because he had to go forward for wood. And Blue had already TC'd this earlier, so Blue would obviously see that. So that that's unfortunate. But I still think there was more that Yellow could have done from his with his situation. And a switch into Crossbow and Castle Age would have been wonderful. And a switch into Arbalest and Imp. I think that would have changed things for him. Um, because in Yellow's position, he then needed to distract when he hit in the, the Imperial Age because he was so far behind in economy. So he really needed something to gain nap control. Something that was ranged would have been nice. And for some reason, he went with Scorpions, which is a very slow and clunky unit that's not mobile and not ranged. Well, I guess it's ranged, but I think you get what I'm saying. It just didn't have what he needed. All right. So... I'll go through, look at the technology as well. If you're interested in the Vilhai, there it is. YouTube, if you'd like to check out the Twitch stream in the future, which is where all these crazy people are at, you can click the Twitch link in the video description. I stream five times a week, Age of Empires 2, whether that be classic games, ex expert games, uh, community games. We do a bunch of stuff here, so feel free to stop by if you'd like. I will see you all in the next video. Hold on, we gotta wait for the high YouTubes. Get him out of your system, chat. <laughs> There's only like three people. <laughs> you know, I, I wanted to do those as YouTube-only specials, but those were so good I wanted to show you guys on the live stream. Um, the first one, which many of you may have missed now, was the most exciting one for me. That was really cool. All right, Unknown97. 